We're in central Washington visiting Prosser Farm, where farmer-in-chief Jackie Cross grows a multitude of crops for her husband Tom Douglas's restaurants, including the Carlisle Room. Truly a farm-to-table operation, Jackie grows her produce specifically for the needs of the restaurant chefs. We're at your beautiful farm and green beans and all sorts of other vegetables that Tom uses in his restaurants. In all the restaurants, yep. I work closely with the chefs mm -hmm. and we decide at the end of the year um, what seeds to grow and what kind of varieties that they want. That's kind of cool that the chefs can kind of say, you know, I'm really, really thinking about this. Uh -huh. No, it's really fun. Yeah. And if they come across something like, oh, I had this, this was terrific and stuff like that, I can, I can do that. What made you want to start Prosser Farm? It certainly didn't start out to be a farm. Really? Uh, we bought property over here just as a vacation mm -hmm. property and then put in a couple tomatoes and I had a couple extra and pretty soon there you go. How much of the vegetables and fruits and all that that the restaurants use come from here? Well everything I grow goes to the restaurants yeah. so we have a refrigerated truck that we drive over two times a week and yeah. take the vegetables over. That's great so it's fresh. It's fresh. It is yeah. fresh. It's right from here to right yeah. to there. I can't get much fresher than what we're doing. We do work with other small farmers around and stuff too, the yeah. restaurant group. So we're trying to support across the board. I asked Jackie to give me a tour of her small but mighty operation. We started off where it all begins, in the greenhouses. These are our two small greenhouses. Uh -huh. We start um, in February with starts. Nice. And with everything we grow is from seed. Mm -hmm. and they start in here. As soon as they get big enough and it warms up enough outside, we move them into the cold frames. Oh, where that's they, right. Which is sort of their nice. teenager years. Right. And they'll stay out here for maybe two or three weeks. Uh -huh. But it gets them more acclimatized to being mm -hmm. outside, so it makes the transplant Protects them at better. night. Mm -hmm. And then from there, they'll go directly into the field. Jackie shows me her different produce, including green beans, peppers, and tomatoes, and I learn what makes a perfect pick. When we pick for the restaurant, um, we pick them at about this stage, which is probably a day, or if you were going to eat them right tonight, mm -hmm. um, you would want them to go for probably for another day. Okay. But since we're going to wait and ship these in a day and take them over to the restaurant, just right. we'll, they'll be just perfect. These are what we call like a grilling pepper. Okay. So these just will get put onto a hot grill or onto a skillet and um, just melt it down just a yeah. little bit. And are they serve like that. sweet or spicy? These ones, or? the shishitos are, well, try one. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. They're, these ones are not hot. Before saying goodbye, we stopped to see some friends. Hi. Hi. Looks like my food Looks is like down there. You picked me up and the corn's on the ground. <laughs> I think a lot of people don't realize that the food that they are eating uh, is grown by men and women, right? You know, <laughs> mm -hmm. I think a lot of people think farmers, they automatically think of a man, but that's, that's, that's not true, it's is not it? The statistics don't bear that out yeah. anymore. There's more and more female farmers. There's a certain beauty in the hands-on of growing yeah. vegetables and stuff that's very rewarding. You see something through from seed in the greenhouse in February to on the plate in the restaurant in August and September. I mean, it's, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, and it's, there's very few jobs where you get to that whole line, mm -hmm. you know, beginning to end and stuff, so it's very satisfying that way, 